what's up everyone it is Thais here welcome to my quick co-wash routine so I will be showing you guys how I wash my hair in only two hours from wash to style and to the finish so right now my hair isn't completely dirty I'm not ready to shampoo my hair yet but I do want to refresh it get rid of old product residue so I'm removing those rubber bands taking out my previous hairstyle and before I co-wash my hair I like to make sure that I detangle my hair properly. So I start by spritzing my hair with water. This helps to loosen up any tangles that I may have. And then I follow up with a detangler. So I'm using the Honey Baby Natural Detangler. This one works so well for my hair. I only use this product before I wash my hair. After applying that detangler for my hair, my hair is starting to soften up. Then I go in with my fingers and loosen up any knots that I have before I move on to using my white tooth comb. So this two-step detangling process makes sure that my hair is thoroughly detangled with minimal breakage. So you never want to wash your hair while it is tangled. Always make sure that you detangle first and then you twist it into sections. So putting my hair in sections helped to make my wash day go by so fast. For this week's co-wash, I will be using my new Uncle Funky's Daughter Bye Bye Build Up Cleansing Conditioner. So I recently purchased this one and it does have um, Rasu Clay in there. So a co-wash is a cleanser and a conditioner in one step. And this co-wash instantly made my hair super soft and provided amazing, amazing slip. So I was really shocked by it being that this was my first time using it. So when you co-wash your hair, make sure that you are applying that co-wash in sections. Get your scalp as well because you want your scalp to be clean. So a great co-wash cleans your hair effectively, but it also leaves your hair super, super conditioned. So look out for that. So a co-wash is great as a light refresher in between your normal shampoo routine. So this is great when you want to refresh your hair, but you don't need to clean it your hair isn't overly dirty so that is what i am doing today so this should not replace your normal shampoo you still need to shampoo occasionally but not as much as you can see this co-wash is super conditioning my hair is being cleaned and conditioned at the same time so it cuts out the two-step process in your wash day so when you co-wash your hair it is typically a very very short wash day compared to your normal wash day routine so make sure that you are getting all the strands of hair with that co-wash to ensure that everything is clean and then you twist your hair back up in those sections and rinse out your hair so now as you can see right here I am loosening out one twist at a time under that running water and then I immediately twist that section of hair back up so this is key for making sure that your hair remains detangled throughout your wash day and it cuts back and save you a lot of time So after co-washing your hair, it should be nice and soft but clean at the same time. As you can see, my hair looks amazing and my hair feels really, really good. So I really love this co-wash. I look forward to adding it to my regimen from now on. My scalp is also clean as well. After rinsing out my co-wash, I will be using the Swirly Curly Turban Hair Towel to soak up the excess water before moving on to styling my hair. 
So these turban towels have satin as the exterior to provide a nice Luke's look and there are many beautiful different designs and colors and patterns. So right here I have the dynamic and on the inside is a microfiber hair towel that is very gentle on the hair. It speeds up the drying process while drying your hair in a gentler way compared to a regular bath towel. So if you are interested in getting one, make sure you check out the link down below at swirlycurlyhair.com and you can use my coupon code THAIS15 to get 15% off. So I am so obsessed with these hair towels. Oh my goodness, they are just so gorgeous and I love that you can wear them out if you have to run a quick errand in the middle of your wash day and the size is also really really incredible this is probably the biggest hair towel I own so this towel soaks up a good amount of water without leaking through and after using my swirly curly hair towel I just allow it to air dry by hanging it on the satin part so that the towel part is exposed that is how you get it to dry fast so my hair is still nice and soft and it looks really really good I love the way my kinks look they're nice and juicy and you can see my cuticles weren't roughing up that's the benefit of using a microfiber towel to dry your hair for today's leave-in conditioner I'm using my curl love moisture milk so this leave-in conditioner is a moisture based leave-in conditioner and it helps to soften my hair even more before I move on to styling and to seal in that moisture I'm using the Flora and Curl hair butter so this is an oil based butter this is going to lock in the moisture as well as seal down that cuticle and it also helps to make my hair a lot more manageable and the moisture lasts a very long time when you seal everything in after so I'm working in sections and then I just gently twist that section back up and move on to the other section so I'm doing it like this to ensure that every part of my hair receives that moisturizer and that sealant if you just apply the product all over your afro then you are more likely to miss pieces of hair and that'll cause like breakage in certain areas of your hair so make sure that you are moisturizing your hair properly so today I will be moving on to flat twist flat twist takes me the least amount of time to do it only takes about an hour so now that my hair is nice and moisturized and sealed I'm taking down my clips this is going to allow me to section my hair for my flat twist and as you can see my hair is nice and moisturized so so I can ensure that every part of my hair received that moisture. So I'm just doing regular straight back flat twists. I do have detailed tutorials on this hairstyle. So this won't necessarily be a how to. It's more of a watch me complete my wash day video. So I will be doing um, regular flat twists going straight back. And I just part off little pieces at a time and then I go in and detangle each section of hair before I begin twisting so that is key so that you do not run into any knots while you're twisting and I just start with two pieces of hair like a regular twist and then row it going straight back <music>
So I will be ending today's wash day by applying some gel to my edges. So this is just going to allow my edges to lay flat throughout the week. And then I tie my hair down with a satin scarf while I am wearing my flat twist. This helps my hair to not become frizzy and allow the hair to lay flat while I am sleeping. So thank you all so much for tuning in to today's wash day. And this week I will be wearing my flat twist all week. So I won't be taking these down to do a twist out or anything. I will basically leave them in until my next wash day. Thank you all so much for watching again. Leave me any questions you have down below. And don't forget to check out Swirly Curly Hair Turban Towels down below. And use my code Thais15 to get a 15% discount if you are interested.